What's going on InDesign creators? Today I'm gonna to tell you why it's important and how to package an InDesign document for print. Coming at you. Thanks for joining us here on our tutorial series on how to learn the InDesign basics. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, I would highly recommend doing so. We put out new videos six days per week on graphic design, creativity, and tutorials. And also, you're not going to want to miss out on the new up and coming course that will be coming out in the following months. And I'm going to build an entire course about how to use Adobe InDesign, Illustrator, and Photoshop. So you don't want to miss that and I'll put out the alert when that comes out. For now, let's head on over to my screen and learn how to package those InDesign files. Welcome over to my screen and we're talking today about the importance of packaging an InDesign file. The importance of this is containing everything you've created and carrying it from the creation point to the destination of service. And what I mean by that is either a printer or you're sending this to another designer to do some follow-up designs um, or perhaps this needs to be taken to a new computer because you don't have the proper software to maybe turn it into an ebook or make it a digital format. What you're doing is you're pulling together all of the files into one folder. That way when you move the document, you have no missing links. If you have missing links, the document will not print at full quality. If you have missing links, the fonts will not work. When you go to print, the fonts will be incorrect and it will mess up and you will possibly lose content within your document. So it's extremely important to package InDesign files because you want to carry the files with you wherever you're going via fonts, links, etc. We're going to come up to the top left corner, click File, Package. Now there's occasionally some warnings here about things that are wrong and things that you're doing. Um, right now, specifically, everything looks good. We have fonts are in order, and all of that looks well. So we're going to click Package. This is here in case we want to add any contact info. So, who I am, where it's coming from, the address you need to fill out, phone number, contact information, structures. Maybe it's really important to me to print specific CMYK colors. So all of that can be taken place here and that way when you export it and it ends up at the printer, they know exactly what they need to do in order to complete the instructions and have the document look exactly how you designed it. We'll continue. And then we will package. And that's all there is to it. You want to package documents in order to make sure you have full quality and all the correct fonts in the end destination. That is the basic principle in packaging an InDesign document. Thanks for watching this tutorial today. If it has helped you at all, please hit the like button. Comment below if there's any types of tutorials or keys you want to learn in InDesign, and I would love to create those videos for you. As always, thanks for tuning in today. I'm Benji Kaiser of BenjiKaiser.com.